Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's we Fly XCOM. Uh, enemy Unknown 2012. Let's begin the assault, shall we? The next deployment site is in the UK. That's right. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. You should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Operation Silent Dream, as requested by you, the loyal fans. Well, I gave you the choice and you were like, we should save Britain, because Britain brings us many good things, such as cricket and the English language and British people. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Thank you. And now, he be key shall advance. I think I misclicked there. I misclicked completely. We'll see what happens, shall we? As the noble woman who's not standing in any sort of cover whatsoever has actually got a pretty clear shot. That's a rather good shot, actually. But it is too tempting. We shall leave Hikibi later. Suspense. Okay, Kanade. It's time to bring out the pistol and pistol good and fire upon your foes. Of an 82% chance to hit. Dealing one damage. It's a good one damage. And now Ellen, the noble woman, shall deploy as well. We have the ability to throw enemy attacks at enemies. That's right, Australia says no. And now Akko. Akko shall now attack this enemy alien here. With the pistol, as always, with a 50% chance to hit. Fortunately, alien cooperated and poked its head out so we could shoot it. It's nice when they do that. Cooperation between alien races. It's great. And once again, Angela Bru uh, Brutes Gary, boom boom, shall advance. Now, he give me shell off to go here because I failed my mouse click. Oh well. Things happen in life. They're starting to lose ground. They're starting to lose ground, indeed. Making stupid maneuvers. Didn't even hear where that one went. But they're over there. That's. Calm down, ladies. Calm down. The important thing is that Ellen can actually advance upon this enemy early, like so. And then provide a very close encounter. Behold. Thankfully censored by her body, she is able to eliminate the alien. Now we shall have... Boom Boom Advance. That was a good advance. Overwatch now takes place. And we shall now move... Hibiki... Over here. That pause is just making sure I don't make any mistakes. The sniper shall advance. It's always good for snipers to not be able to fire their sniper rifles. Then it'd be in a good vantage point for future sniping possibilities. Alien activity takes place, but it's okay. Nobody died. Well, nobody yet. Hebe Key shall now continue to press on and actually not end a turn immediately. We'll have Angela Boom Boom, make a stand. With what we've seen so far, it was only natural to assume the aliens would have something specialized towards frontline combat. This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who is to go up against that thing. This is the game's way of seeing we had visibility of these mutants for just a second. Just a second. We lost it immediately though. So we could launch a missile launcher at it. No, oh, no, we couldn't, because of course they're right there. They do have a sh an amazing oh, 10 points of health, which will take a while to burn through, I must admit. But we are XCOM. It's all that matters. We will do what we need to do. Fortunately, Kanade, armed with her sniper rifle, shall commence the Overwatch. And Ellen, pressed by the need to assemble close to the box, shall do so. And Overwatch continues of her as well. Arco likes the sniping position that her good friend, Kanade, took. So we shall now have 
her ready as well. But she shall overwatch using the pistol because she likes to be contrary. Oh, contrary, Akko. What will the mutants do? Something there is something out there. Excellent and it is the thin men! No, they don't. They don't now. They just they just walk, step up, and then move over there. Fortunately for Higibi, they didn't kill her. Many people would probably consider that fortunate for any person, but not Higibi. She is only satisfied by complete and total destruction of her enemies. As Angela advances, now we find the game proper visibility of those mutants and basically every single enemy at once. This is not really that good, to be honest. And the floaters as well, why not? We have aggroed everything. The good news is we're flanking some of them. What can you kill? 70% chance to hit. 70% chance to hit. Well, we might as well kill the floaters. No longer, no longer a threat indeed. It's a good start. We do have a considerable number of enemies we need to take care of. So we will have Hikipi. Nope, Hibiki. Retreat slightly, and then fire upon this particular flanked floater. Unfortunately, the flank was a misflank. Adjusting aim. Adjusting aim indeed. But we do have our snipers, armed with their sniper rifles. They hope to aim and pierce the hearts of our foes. How will they do? That was eight damage. Rather good, in my opinion. Eight damage. And the alien gets rather angry about this and does nothing. Now, Ellen, we'll she'll skip you for now. You have earned a promotion though if you survive, which is nice. So we shall now switch to the sniper rifle for our good friend Echo. And hopefully she can also deal a nice headshot to our foes. Although the accuracy is that I might leave someone to be desired. What's the accuracy of the pistol? It's not that great either. Okay. Alright, well we will use the the sniper rifle here. We will not use a headshot though, because it's not necessary. Against this particular enemy, we just want to kill him. Just kill him. And the noble sniper women work together to see a better lay, a better day, a better future for us all. And of course now Ellen sees visibility of our foes and now hopes to just deal some damage. Why not? Hopefully destroy that cover in front of the enemy out. Well, two damage, I'll take the two damage. Any piece of damage we have helps. For those thin men, hopefully we don't have to worry about them, but they are seeming to try and encircle our position. Oh, poison over that distance is ridiculous. I will probably ignore the poison for the beginning of how it starts. Thankfully, Angela is okay. Boom, boom. Continues to boom. Boom well. Boom. But we have a very sneaky floater. Aiming to flank the noble Ellen. On the they are on the move. Pressing on. Granting the blood call bonus to its noble mutant friend. That hurt. Fortunately... Boom Boom is made of strong stuff. We do have some poison damage taking place, and everybody could do a heal, but also these enemies could do a rocket launcher to the face. But first, let us see how well that they are good friends the snipers can do. The snipers have a rather appalling chance to hit. Let us check the info. Enemy defense, low cover, and poison. Unfortunately, the poison is eating into their accuracy. That's not good. Now we'll see what we can do about the other characters first. Ellen, we do have a noble... Noble? Why is everything noble today? We have a float that needs to die. Kill it. That's not killing it! You need to not fail at everything. Okay. Full cover, not a bad idea. Gets you out of the poison as well. Unfortunately, we're down to pistoling down our foes. Oh well. That's what it's come down to, everyone. Pistoling down mutants. We're not even healing with those. Damn it. Uh, uh, the expletive is appropriate. Suppression. Not a terrible idea. 
fire rocket. Also not a terrible idea. Who's got a grenade? You don't. None of these people do. You're useless. We have one grenade and one rocket launcher. One rocket launcher here as well. Let's do it, shall we? Bring it on. Go, Hibiki. That made them annoyed. And that's good. Brilliant. It's also destroyed their cover. They are exposed. Naked. And we shall take advantage of the nakedness by deploying further. But Kanade shall not take her full turn just yet. Oh no, we shall switch to Angela Brutsky, who shall retreat over here to this light cover. And then throw her frag grenade over here to kill the remain to heavily drain the health of these two mutants. Go it out, baby! Boom from the boom boom! I like what I see. Now Kanades gets her second turn, switching to the pistol and having a good chance to kill off this mutant for good. Make it happen. I like what I see. It's teamwork, the women are working together, and it's brilliant, to be honest. We do have some Finn men who's encir trying to encircle us. Ow, that's boom boom dead. Which is critically wounded, she's not dead. Bonus. Don't panic! Don't panic! Don't kill your friends! Shooting the rocks isn't going to help either. You're panicking as well. Don't shoot your friends. What did you do? Kill the alien, please. Well, that actually wasn't the worst place she could panic to, to be honest. Because that floater was going to shoot her, so at least she moved out the way. And teleported again. Oh, she's suppressed? Okay. Honestly, I thought she'd be dead already, so not the worst situation possible. Still, we need advance. <laughs> Having half of our... Well, almost all our squad panicking is not great, as we can see. She's poisoned. Okay, okay. What can you do for us? You have a sniper rifle. Is it going to actually help anything? You can headshot that guy. Hmm. There are aliens over there, we can't do anything about them because these guys are all panicked. And if we move, we're not going to really get anything better. So better to headshot this guy. Kill him, please. Thank you. Brilliant shot. Now obviously these thin men are advancing quite happily upon us. Poisoning the noble the noble boom boom which is not good that's a flank and a half whoa is that dead oh that's dead bye hickey bee you were good while you lasted don't die everybody fortunately they missed You're poisoned, but you're not dead. Good. And Ellen magically survived dying. This is unexpected, actually. Alright, who's alive still? We do need to stabilize her eventually. That medikit has to go to her. And we're basically two snipers against a lot of enemies. We're going to have to do some dashing. We need to get that floater gone, and we need to secure this area. And then maybe we can save Boom Boom. Maybe. We also have no ammunition. Twenty-five percent chance to hit, not good enough. Twenty-five, forty-five. We're really running out of troopers already. That's why having literally having even five members is just not enough. You need six to really have any chance. If you're using rookies, you need six. Simple as that. Alright. How are we gonna do this? I actually was doing well, I got rid of the mutants. And of course, typical XCOM 2012, it doesn't matter if you do like 90% of a mission, if you 
still lose everybody. It's still considered a total fail. You don't get any partial victories in this game. Alright, come on. Think, brain. Brain. I'm poking it. Is it helping? Um, Ellen. See, if Ellen can't really get into a position where she can deal with that floater effectively. She can move there, maybe. It's not going to really help. There. Really, she's got the best chance of making the shot where she is. And of course, if she takes the shot... Oh, let's see what the, the, av, uh, the all more info says. Alright, um... She is under low cover already. It really isn't a better spot to put her, and her gun needs reloading, and we need to kill that floater. I think I'm gonna have to bank on that 25% chance. Make it happen. And you missed. Alright. The shot connect. did fail to connect, but we need to get our guys, our girls out of there. Now there's the ballsy route, but I'm using girls, so maybe that's not the best idea. Alright, go ballsy anyway. Kill it, please! You still missed! Target One of you has out. to kill this thing. It needs to die. Please kill it. All three of you missed it. Okay, you all deserve to die now. I mean, that was the one thing you needed to do, and you failed. Simple. And now you're all just gonna get killed. I mean, what is wrong with you women? You only had to kill one alien. You killed the mutants, no problem. Yeah, you're dead as well. And now Ellen will probably panic about that. What do you think about that, Ellen? Tell us what you really think. If you survive. That was close, because it looked like it killed you, but it didn't. We have one turn to save you. That's not going to happen anytime soon. How about this floater? Think you're going to kill it? You really think you're going to kill it? Sorry, Boom Boom, you're dead. Because we can't revive you or anything like that. What the pistol say? Pistol says 39% chance. Those guys no, no, don't even think about that. To be fair, there's only three floating men left. The, um, guys left, but we still need to get out of here. Alright, what's the chance? Don't go to sleep, laptop. Okay, what's the act? The cover there is good cover. It's good cover. Alright, stop playing with games of me, camera. There we have... Uh, my strategic sense says running away is a very good idea. Yes, epic run. Go, Alan. Running. Winning. Don't kill us, alien. We got high cover anyway. We just lost one, I know. Fortunately, you're still alive, Alan. That's good. And you got a 65% chance to hit. Please kill it! You still missed it! It's still up! No wonder it's still up! You failed! You're still failing! I know! It's because you're the only operative left. Do it! Do it! Just do it and get it done! You still missed! Please! Hit something, woman! It's moving more towards you. Getting more and more dangerous. Okay, where has it gone? There. That was a weird spot to go, alien. Really. I mean, why there? All you're doing is just encouraging me to get even more ballsy. And I'm not regretting it anymore. I mean, I've got nothing to lose. A rookie? You know what? Die. And then take one damage. Yes! You, you had a 50% chance to crit at everything, but it wasn't good enough, was it? You know, yeah, yeah I've stopped caring. Central, do you read? We've taken heavy casualties. Squad is down. Solid copy, Big Sky. Return to Yeah, that's what happens when XCOM fails. Ah, I even tried. Like, you, you, you saw me trying. My brain was actually even activated. But she missed four times in a row. United Kingdom's gone as well. That's not fantastic, to be honest. Oh. I just wish there was something we could do. And teach our women to shoot. Remember. 
Women Maybe I should take my fact, marching. take back what I said about women like working out. Not, no one's working out. All I've got left is me and Earl of Trousers. All right, we need soldiers. We need a lot of them. Hire as many as we can afford. Thank you. They're coming, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, that takes three days. Mission control. I forgot to open the text file saying that I should what to call them. Foundry's up. Carry on. We can't pay anything now. We need new troopers. Commander, we're detecting a new contact, much larger than anything we've previously encountered. I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that. Ship. Oh, well, we'll engage the one we have. It won't be good enough. I can assure you of that. The game is saying no, no, Kilkakon. You've already lost this game. Bangs out. Okay, well, put the finger over a board and watch it, watch, watch it run away. Bye. Yep. Disengaging. Disengaging because you failed. Yep. Oh well. Yep. Rush is gone. And let's look at the Doom Tracker, shall we? Doom Tracker. Yep. We're we're gonna lose two more countries. Yeah. Three. We're basically already dead, because the women couldn't work it out. No, nothing against women in general, you're all lovely people. Just those particular five failed. They worked last time, this time they all failed, especially Ellen. Ellen, we look at you. This is why society has failed. Humanity has failed because of you. And I quickly now have the new names up. Okay. Let us hope for a better future. We now have new soldiers. We should not do anything about them. You ask for laser rifles, eh? Well, you know why I don't have laser rifles? It's because we have no engineers. None of them. So six. You know how many we need? Like, twelve. Yeah. Nope, there are no laser rifles. I would love the money you want me to give me, but no. Contact detected. We can send the Sky Ranger! Yay! Now we can quickly go back to the briefing, and then go back again, and then go to the barracks, and then see the soldiers. We have men! Let's see how well they do. Probably just as bad, let's be honest here. Okay, we can very quickly name them. Okay, you! You are going to be a very clearly demonstrated person. Your name... Well, your first name shall be Ord 160 and your second name shall be Ord Dragon. You are a nice person. Maybe you shall be a nice trooper. You have a dark green color scheme. Uh, dark green. Attention game. Dark green. Uh, it's greenish. Is there any darker green? Ooh, that looked close. That'll do. It's, it's good. It's military. I like it. It's good. Okay, press on. Next. You. You shall be Omaka Packet. And you shall be bright yellow. Shining as the sun. We need very bright yellow. Bright enough so people think it's iron armor when it's just not. First name shall be absolutely nothing. The second name shall be Omeka Pack It. There we go. Omeka Pack It is with us. And now that's a woman. Here's a man. This man shall be the King of Rome. Or the King of Rabbits. Or oh, the, the killer of red, I don't know, the king of Rome. That is who he is, and he's a blue person. He's always described himself as being a blue person. We need to give him blue armor, blue hair, blue face. Well, there's no blue face. But we can give him blue hair. That's red. Well, I like the goatee look. No blue. It needs to be blue as blue. There needs to be more blue in this situation. All right. Have Hikibi hair. Shining blue justice. Needs to be more hair. That's a face. There, there's, that's hair. Oh, love it. And now we need to bring back some true heroes. If we're going to have any chance of surviving this situation, we need the very best of the best. And I know, I know what it takes to survive. I know what XCOM needs. XCOM needs a true hero. And this hero is... My mouse cursor covers it. The Chemical Flare Man. That's right, he's back. Copy that. Affirmative. Yes, Commander. Solid we need a very Commander. mysterious man. Seasoned. And his hair is shining white. Where's white? 
We need white hair for this man. White for the chemicals inside his body that allow him to fire auto shots. If you haven't seen what I'm talking about, you should, because it's epic. Yeah, epic chemical flare, man. All, all that, that's, that's totally working for me right now. And we need a nice, a nice chemical flare-y sort of color. Oh, that's good. That's very nice. That's chemical flare, man. Actually, let's see, let's see if we can, we can actually fit the man on the end. I don't know if the game will let me. We'll see what we can do. Last name. Chemical flare. Oh, no, alas, I cannot. But we can change the loadout on these men. I'm gonna give this guy... Medikit, yeah. There's no chemical flares, alas. If there were chemical flares, we would be winning this game already. I mean, seriously. That's the problem with XCOM these days. No chemical flares. You can have a medikit. And I know all Dragon wanted to be a sniper, so you can have a scope to make him think that he's a sniper. It's the thought that counts. And here I provide many thoughts at Complex Games. Now we shall actually deal with the problem. Hopefully, a positive mission in, like, Europe will save Europe from the brink of disaster. Contact it's a large, we're gonna send the Sky Ranger, we're gonna die. It's cool, because you're involved. Yes, I'm involved too. Let's see how fast I die. Okay. To the crash site. Strike Begin one. assault. Prepare. Cold site. Our target site is near the German border. Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Staying covers the key to staying alive. How about hitting the enemies? I'm looking at you, Ellen. Looking at you. Operation Cold Summer begin. Ah. I'm serious. If I lose this game, I'm starting it again. I am not taking no for an answer. And then all the subscribers are like, this is how you play the game properly, Kilkakon. I'll be like, thank you. Thank you. And you can all, like, come back from the dead as thanks. I don't know. Let's just not die in the first place. This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Yep, we worked that one out. And it's actually, like, really close, too. How big is it? Not the biggest I've ever seen, but not terribly tiny either. So we should need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Oh... Earl of Trousers, it's good to have you with us. I can feel good feelings when there's trousers on our side. Feelings of stability, support, other assorted good things like that. And make a back at. You shall get next to the good friend, Earl of Trousers. And of course, Ellen Thomas, because I forgot to put on Chemical Flare. Man, this mission's gonna fail now. Helen Thomas, what are you doing? Why aren't you renamed? You should be something silly, like Pie Lady, or, you know, from Russia with grenades. We've seen Thin Men! That's what I do. I see Thin Men everywhere. I've got actually pretty decent accuracy, because I'm awesome like that. I'll still miss, because everyone's missing today. I don't like taking lessons from Ellen. It's a bad idea. Fortunately, the other trousers has a 50 percent chance to hit. And of course he misses as well, because he's a good sport. Enemy is still, Enemy is still alive. At least, or Dragon, you were given a scope. And maybe the SCOPE gives you a chance to potentially hit something. Both of them 50% chance to hit. Go for it. Oh, that scope is a sniper. Golf clap for the old dragon. I like the dragonic influences we have going here. And Maka Packet, what do you think? You can't actually see anything so ever watch. Helen Thomas, you failed. Get over there. Get over there now. Alright, let's see what the aliens do. They'll probably poison a lot of us, because that's what they do. Oh, there's some floaters inside the enemy craft. But we can take reaction fire, because we're awesome like that. And miss the reaction fire. There's the poison, I called it. Helen takes a shot, and of course Helen misses as well. Good sport, but no, not happy. Not happy with the poison either, because it takes that tiny little health edge that we had off. Not happy, Janice. Not happy. No! Oh, oh Dragon's panicked, he used to be able to shoot things. Kill something, please. Three damage, I like what I see. 
Omega Pique has panicked as well. I need you to shoot straight. That was a good attempt, but sadly you failed as well. What am I even looking at? Alright, you panicked. Yep, we've established that. Okay, I can see many aliens, many enemies. All must die before my glory. Okay, now you, Earl of Trousers, I want you to equip your pistol and eliminate this last thin man. Actually, I want you to take points and then kill the thin man. We need to kill that one over there. Can I do it? Probably not very comfortably. I'm not very comfortable about that, but I'll do what I can. Go on in for the kill indeed. And up we go. Upstairs to a better world where we can now fire our shotgun against the foe. Bring it on. Take the 16% chance to hit and fail. At least you're in a somewhat safe position, me. Alright. I want you to take that pistol shot. I want you to kill it. Pistols are not working today. Damn not at all. Enemy is still alive. All right, Helen, what do you reckon? How about you try pistol earring, eh? Oh, of course you'll miss as well. The lack of 3D epic just gives it away. Oh, oh, dragon, you did well for the kill you made. Thank you. You did better than most. <laughs> it's another miss from me. Oh, no, no, nope, no, no, Helen, you failed no, too. No. You still missed that one guy I want you to kill. Come on, XCOM, what is wrong with you all? Incoming, Incoming indeed. Well, we'll probably come back next video after we stop dying. Of course, now I'm like totally flanked and gonna die as well. Yep, I'm already dead. Oh, and I'm critically wounded because I'm awesome, I don't get to die immediately. Uh, facing the palm. There's only one active operative left. And it's poison. Oh, it's poison to make a packet. I've got three turns to live, I've got two useless operatives, and I've one good operative left, the Earl of Trousers, who seeks to provide life, where there is death all around you. And everybody has a 50% chance to hit. And you're actually in a reason you're, you're as good a cover as you're going to get, so take what you got and go. Well, we still need to kill that one alien here. Do it! Thank you! No longer a threat because the Earl of Trousers is on our side. Oh, we have the packet with us. <laughs> let's do it, eh? Get into some heavy cover. Heavy cover. And let's continue to snipe down our foes. But what we'll do is we'll call the video. And when we come back very soon, we'll continue to play XCOM. I'll do the video tomorrow because it's been a while. Sorry!